Thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to tie a fab. You might have heard of it. I think it's a fly that originated in Scotland. Um, fab stands for fat ass blob. I'm going to tie the fire shitting fab. So this is a pattern that I'm not sure where it came from, but it's been really effective for me. In the vise is a Hanak 270 barbless hook at size 10, which is probably the same as a Kamazan size 12 in old money. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of super glue in the shank of my hook. Uh, the Vivas, although it's very good, it is quite slippy and I don't want this moving about on me. So, the tiniest bit of super glue, and the thread I'm going to use today is the Vivas GSP. It's in white, and I'm going to catch that, and I'm just going to go over that super glue and get a good bed of thread. I can take away my waist. And so the, the tail of this fly, or the poo bit if you like, I'm going to use Fish Hunter Marabou. This is Steelhead Orange UV. I've already taken a little feather off and I'm just going to take a little pinch of that. Transfer it to my right hand. And I'm just going to take the tips. I'm going to lay that on the shank of the hook. Come all the way back to the end. Now I've brought my thread up the shank as far as the pronounced bump on the 270. Next thing I'm going to do is come in with my thumb and forefinger and simply trim it away. I'm going to lick my thumb and forefinger in my left hand just to wet the marabou to keep the, the tail out the way while I put the rest in. I've already cut a cylinder with my uh, gunwheel cutters and the first thing I'm going to do with this is cut it in half. Like so. So it gives me just a half a cylinder. I put the other half to the side because I can use that again. Next thing then is I'm going to cut this tube nearly down the middle. Try and keep it as even as you can. So what I've got effectively is half a, half a normal tube and I've cut a slit down the middle. Now with this fly, a lot of people, I've seen them, they, they just come in and they'll tie their, their foam in like so. Uh, and that's great, but what you're doing is you're impeding the shank of the hook. So what I always try and do is have as much of that on show as possible. So I'm going to come in, laying it on top, like so. I'm going to hold the ends now and I'm going to just boot nice and gentle at first, a couple of wraps in. The other thing with the this thread that I'm using is if you're too too heavy handed with it what happens is you just cut straight through your foam cylinder and you're left with nothing to tie in. Now I don't want this excess I've got at the front so I've really put a couple of hard wraps in and I'm just going to pinch that away. Okay once I've got that waste out the way can tidy this up a bit and I want it to be as flat as possible that's good enough now I haven't tied a blob in any of my tutorials yet because uh, I mean you can find that on YouTube elsewhere but when I tie blobs, 
I put quite a bit of thought into the thread that I'm using because when you put threads on, when it's in the water, especially in clear water, you can see right through the threads to whatever colour of thread you've used. So I'll often use white or red, depending on what effect I want to achieve. Uh, the fritz I'm going to use today, which I'm going to tie in first, is, is F and F, and this is the block jelly in zest. Now what I've done is I've taken a little bit of this out the packet and I've soaked it under the tap. So this is wet now, completely wet. Some people use um, just licking their thumb and forefinger. I prefer to... Have it completely soaked and as you're working with it it dries out pretty quick I've already stripped some of the uh, fibers to reveal the core and I'm going to catch that in nice and tight there we go now usually I'd have brought my thread up to the end if I was just going to tie a straight blob but what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to add an underbody. This is a Mirage Tinsel. It's large opal and it's very bright and shiny. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this off. And you might not have seen this before. Uh, you may well do it all the time, but... And does it make a difference? Well, that's the million dollar question. Who knows? But I like it. It's it, uh, certainly something that I've been doing for a couple of years and it seems to catch plenty of fish. Oops. Right, I just need to go back. Been a bit too heavy handed with that. I'll just catch that in again. Yeah, I have sat with uh, a pint of water and, and just dipped blobs and flies in. And the reason that thread snapped there actually is because I just caught the point of my hook. These are razor sharp, um, the hooks. So any sort of little clip of the hook that you get tends to just rip the material. But it was easy fixed. And I'm happy enough with that. Okay, so I've got my mylar base down. And the next thing is to bring my fritz over the body. Nice touch and turns. And you may well be thinking, oh well, you'll not be able to see the mylar, but, and, and you can, once it's dry, you wouldn't know it was there, but when it's wet and it's under the water, I'm pretty convinced that there's enough light as that it makes a difference. Okay, as I get to the end, I want to just try and clear a little path in the fritz. I'll get a couple of turns in. Now I find the key with tying with fritz is to leave plenty room at the front. If you do that you can simply sweep everything back out the way and start to build ahead. Fibers there just being a little bit naughty. So I can simply uh, finish that off now with a whip finish, or I can colour my head, and I'm going to colour it today. I'm going to be using uh, an orange pro marker to colour the thread. A 
I'll just come on again. Like so, and to finish off, I'm going to just add a little bit of UV resin with my brush onto the thread. of a whip finish. I'm just going to pull this in so the thread's buried in the head, snap it away. Then I can come in with my UV pen and finish the head off. Now, with, a, with my dubbing brush here on the ends, a little comb, just come in and finish it up. You can take away any erroneous fibres at this point. And that's you. And there's the fire shitting blob. Now you can uh, change change the uh, the frets. You can change the the foam in the back. You can even change the colour of the tail. Uh, it's up to you. This is a particularly good combination. It works well. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching.